Good morning, family. It is Fabulous Friday, where we are giving God all the glory, all the honor, and all of the praise. I have just finished worshiping and praising God and wanted to come on it really quick and just encourage you for today. As you prepare for the weekend, please, please be safe. I have an urgency to say that today. A lot of festivals and different things are going on. So just be careful. Cover your house in the blood. Cover your children in the blood. Father, we just thank you right now, Lord God. You said wherever two or three are gathered in your name, God, there you will be in the midst. Before we come before your throne of grace, oh God, we would like to repent of sins, knowingly and unknowingly, Lord God. Oh, Father, we would like you to search our heart, try our thoughts, making sure that they're aligned with your word, your will, and your way, Father. Father, we recognize and realize that we can't do nothing if you don't do it through us, Father. And, Father, we thank you that we realize that we are the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. We're more than conquerors, Lord God. Oh, Father, we thank you that we're blessed when we enter a place and we're blessed when we walk out. Father, let us be able to shine, let our light shine, Lord God, in the midst of chaos, in the midst of darkness, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that the weapons of our warfare, they are not corner, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So, Father, we pull down strongholds this morning, Lord God. We pray for our enemies, God, because your word says uh, if we pray for our enemies, Lord God, that you would cause them to be made our footstool. And when our enemies and foes come upon us to eat up our flesh, they're going to stumble and fall, Lord God. We bind the spirit of witchcraft. We come against voodoo. We come against divination, necromancy, Lord God. We bind the incantation right now in the name of Jesus. And we send it back to the pits of hell for where it came, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We have power of life and death in our tongue, Lord God. So let us speak only those things that are edifying today. We don't re believe the report of the doctors, Lord God. We use wisdom, though, but we don't believe the report because it's not so until you say it is, God. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that you are a healer. We thank you, Lord God, that you are a deliverer. We thank you, Lord God. Oh, everything that we need, you are. You are a way maker, a miracle worker, the everlasting father, the prince of peace, wonderful counselor, Lord God. That's what you are to me, God. Father, I praise you, Lord. We already have the victory. We already won every battle, God. So I thank you, Lord, for your people this morning, God. I cover your people in the blood of Jesus, God. Satan, the blood is against you. Family, recognize and realize the enemy can't cross the bloodline. So, God, as I speak to the family, let me decrease while you increase in me, God. Where my ability ends, God, let yours kick in, Father God. I hope this video finds who it needs to find and bless who it needs to bless. We seal this prayer in the blood of Jesus. Good morning, family. Just coming in very quick. The lights may be bright. We all traveling along this highway to journey to our destination this morning. But look and know and, and, and realize, family, that this is not your destination. We're striving to get to that final destination, which is heaven. Just make sure you stay aligned and don't get off track. You make the difference. Don't let the difference make you. When you walk into a room, people should know that you truly possess the spirit of the Lord. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Say only what is edifying, what is good, what is pure, what is of a good report. Be that light in the midst of darkness. Be that peace in the midst of chaos. Allow the Holy Spirit, which abide inside of you, to rest, rule, and to reign. For truly the Lord, for truly the Lord is working. Will you let him work, family? He 
He's working. He's ready, waiting for your yes. So once you give him your yes, he's going to give you your expectations. What he expects. He said, your expectations shall not be cut off. Okay, you got to remember, when life is beating you up as seen as though it is, you got to rise above. The valley not so bad because you know what? That's the threshing floor. That valley is there to prune you. It's to get some stuff out of you. You know, I heard back in the month, I think it was February, sifting and shifting. God sift those in who he loves. He getting all the impurities out, all the lumps out. Because a little leaven leaven the, the whole lump. The whole loaf. You know, I be quoting, but sometimes I may not say it just right. But if you look it up, it's in Corinthians, I think. In other words, we need to get all those impurities out, family. We need to let God do what he needs to do. Because we're about to face some things. I'm telling you, it's preparation time. It's time to stay before the Father. It's time to stay in our word. Anybody that's in your midst and all they want to do is talk about this and talk about that in a negative light, you need to detach and attach to God. Detach and attach to God. Detach from the gossip. Detach from the tailbearing. Detach from the lies. Detach from the naysayers. And attach to God. Our elder brother is already on the right hand of the Father, making intercession. He gave his life for us. Don't throw in the towel. I feel like somebody want to throw in the towel. Say nothing I do is working. But I done told you, plead that blood of Jesus. And once that devil see that you know who you are and whose you are, and that you're not going to relinquish your heavenly rights, I'm not giving up my heavenly rights for nobody. Not children, not sister, not brother, not niece, not nephew, no one. No one. I'm going to get my heavenly rights. Don't get mad at me. You better press. It's pressing time. Okay? It's time for us to press under the pressure. God is right there. He's giving you everything you need, fam, to fight this war. If it look bleak in your, in your health, how bad do you want it? Quote them healing scriptures. Let that devil know I'm healed from the top of my head to the soles of my feet because the blood of Jesus covers me. The blood of Jesus will drive out all impurities in the name of Jesus. If you can't say nothing, just say the blood of Jesus is against you, Satan. Try it. And I guarantee you, God will come through for you. Now, if you want God to do some things for you, you have to be willing to do some things for him. Because a lot of us like to... As long as everything going along just so you don't look around at God. Talking to me first, fam. You don't pray. You don't seek his face. You don't bask in his glory. You know, God want want you to fall in love with him. You know, just like you see that man or that woman you think you in love with. You get all googie eyes. That's how God wants you. Try to remember to say good morning, Father. Thank you so much. How you doing this morning? What is it that you require of me today, oh God? I'm willing, God. Give God first place in your life. Give God the first fruits every day. And I'm telling you, you'll keep the enemy at bay. But you will also cause God to have his way. Therefore, you will not stray. Then you better heed what, what God said. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow with you. You don't have to create a
to bless. God, I already have a blessing and a miracle with your name on it. So fam, I just stopped by real brief to encourage you, my sisters and my brothers. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. I'm going to reach back and strengthen thy brother. The strong must bear the infirmities of the weak. We all get weary sometimes, but he said to be not weary in our well doing for in due season. We shall reap if we faint not. We're not going to faint this morning. We're going to put our big girl panties on. And men, you're going to strap up your boots. And we declare what? The word, the will, and the way. World War Three on the enemy's camp today, fam. I love you so much. I want you to have a fabulous Friday. For truly, someone didn't wake up this morning, but we certainly did. Therefore, it means that God have a purpose and a plan with us in mind. And a blessing that's totally designed with your name on it. Recognize, realize, and know that God is on that throne. And the best is what? Yet to come. I love you much. You have a fabulous Friday in Jesus.